Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a pretty simple card, just using a couple of punches and the Gang's All Mirror. I'm going to be using this little guy, the cactus, and then I'm using a sentiment from a big thank you. I'm just using this little hello here. Okay, for paper, I have a one inch square of um, Bermuda Bay. I have a quarter inch by five and a half inch piece of Bermuda Bay and a piece of Poppy Parade, which is one eighth inch by five and a half inches. I have a scrap of Whisper White. Um, this happens to be thick, but the regular will work. And this is um, a quarter. It's two and three quarters by four and a quarter, but it's just a scrap. It just needs to be big enough to stamp and punch out a two inch circle. I have a piece of Granny Apple Green, which is five and a quarter by four. A piece of Poppy Parade, which is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I have a card base, a thick, which is five and a half by eight and a half. It will be scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay, so let's get started. Um, also, you. I have Mossy Meadow ink and Memento and three punches. I have the tailored tag punch. Let's go ahead and use that right now. I'm just going to take that little one inch strip, piece of post it, just attach it to that post it, and I'm going to flag that end of one, the one end of it. You can do it by hand. This is just a little easier. If you're steady enough. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. And then I have a um, the Starburst one. I forgot what the correct name of that is. Let me get out the book and I'll look. Starburst. I was correct. Okay. And we're going to punch out of the center of this Poppy Parade piece. You want to make sure you're at least a quarter inch from the edges. We'll put that aside. We're done with that punch. And then we also need the two inch punch once we stamp everything. Okay. Actually, Go ahead and punch it. That way we know what space we have to work in. Okay. Let's put all these little pieces aside for now. We need the green piece. I need a scratch paper. I'll put these little pieces into this little tray over here so I don't lose them. All right. And on this granny apple green piece, we're going to take the little um, cactus. And we're going to take the mossy meadow ink. And we're going to stamp all over the background of this. There's no right, right or wrong way. I just stamped. Filled in the background. Just making our own designer series paper. I just want to make a couple over here so it doesn't 
look off. Okay. We'll put that aside. We're done with that. And we're going to bring in that little circle. And again, I'm going to clean this because I got it around the edges. I don't want to get it on this piece. Probably won't happen because it's a thick, but if it was the thinner paper, it might have. All right, so now I'm going to stamp that again. Except this time I'm going to use black ink. The memento. And I'm going to stamp that over on this side and up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to take the little lizard gecko. I'm going to stamp him down here. Okay, then I'll take the sentiment and stamp that right in that area there. And you can use any sentiment you want. I just wanted it to be a general hello card, you know. And there's all kinds of hellos and a lot of different stamp sets, so pick one you like. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a um, fine line. Um, this is a Copic marker, but you can do it after you've colored if you want with the um, one of the other markers. I just needed a fine line so that I could extend this line. And I want to put a little bit underneath the lizard so that it looks like it's part of the scene. I'm just, I'll bring it up so you can see it. I just drew a little line under him and added some of those little dots. Looks a little too perfect, so let's add one a couple like that. All right. And then we'll color them in. And I'm also I'm going to bring in some blends. I've got um, Granny Apple Green Combo. And I'm going to take the brush tip of the dark one. And I'm going to color down each one of these little center stripes. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the light one and I'm going to blend, fill in the rest. And it's going to kind of blend by itself. If you need to blend more, just go over it where it's darker. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the Poppy Parade Dark and I'm going to color in that flower. I'm going to use the small end for this because I also want to color in these dots on this little lizard. Okay. I'm going to bring in the Bermuda Bay. And I think I'm just going to use the light one. And I'm going to color in with a small tip the little lizard guy. It's a very small area. Okay. And I'm going to come in with the um, ivory color and I'm going to color this sand. So I'm going to color this whole background here. Do a little bit above his head here so it doesn't look like it's going into nowhere land. All the way down here underneath the lizard. 
And you don't have to color the whole circle bottom. You can if you want, but I just kind of scribbled it there. Okay, then I'm going to come in with light smoky slate and the brush tip. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow underneath the cactus. A little bit of shadow underneath the lizard. And that's the extent of the coloring. Okay, now we can put our card together. So we're going to bring in this piece that we stamped and we're going to mount it onto our poppy parade. And I'm using the Tombow Mono multi-purpose glue, but you can use uh, snail if you want. I probably shouldn't have put it there because there's a hole, but it's all right. Mount that so there's an eighth inch border all the way around it. Put that aside over here. Okay, let me bring in my scoring tool because I didn't score this cardstock yet. And you'll notice when you're looking at the cardstock to score it, that there's a little bit of a natural curve to the paper and you want that to be down when you're scoring and I'm going to score it four and a quarter and I'm using the larger ball it doesn't with this paper it doesn't matter too much just following the groove and I'm going to turn the paper over Turn it over so that the groove is up. I'm going to line it up into the corner. I'm going to fold this side over, line up those corners, and then crease. That way I get a really nice card base every time. Okay. Now let's bring in this piece. Glue on the back of it. Make sure it's right side up. And we're going to center that on top of this piece. It's going to be just a like a sixteenth of an inch or less all the way around. And if you're not sure how large of a border you need, and you've already put glue on it, turn the piece over, center it on there, and then you can figure out visually how much of a border you need. So when you turn it over to glue it down, you know. Dog hair. All right. I've got three sides lined up, the top, this side, and the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and set it down. And if I need to wiggle it just a little bit, I still have time to do that. Okay. Now I've got those two little strips. I'm going to glue this Poppy Parade strip right on top of this um, Bermuda Bay one. Don't want to use a lot of glue, very little glue, so all I do is I squeeze out a little bit of glue onto the tip, let it go back in, and I just use the tip of that glue bottle to smear a little tiniest little bit of glue on there. That way it doesn't seep out. If for some reason you get too much glue, just take a scratch paper. Set it down on the scratch paper, pick it up, and, and you should be able to still do it. Oh, where'd my blue piece go? There it is. Okay. Center that in the middle of that Bermuda Bay piece. Okay. We're going to adhere our piece that we colored right on top of our starburst.
I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of it. Three should work. Oops, don't stick there. One, two. Okay, take those backs off. Got to glue this piece down still. And I'm gluing that down in this third down here at this bottom. And I forgot it. it's longer. That's all right. We'll make it go the whole length of the card. Whoops. I should have glued this onto the card front first so I could trim off those ends. That's all right. That works. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and stick this on. Right there. And that little tail that we had, the little flag. Let's move him down just a little bit. We want this to go right there. Can't lift that now. Oh, you like got lucky. Okay. A little bit of glue on there. We want it to come underneath this circle a little bit. Like that. Is he stuck yet? There we go. And then I put, added a bow. On this one I use Baker's Twine. But I want to use this um, Baker's Twine that we got free. I know it's sold out, but I kind of want to get my, you, some use out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Snips or scissors. I'll bring in a glue dot. This pack is almost empty. Roll up that glue dot, stick it on the back, and we'll put that right there. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. There's a card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. I think I put him up a little bit higher on the on this one that I made previously. But thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find some time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.